Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Nick's hands right there. You can see Nick's face right there too. He'll be starting to rip this uh, 12 box football is upon us mixer with a luxury helmet. Nice. Luxury, what's luxury edition? That sounds fancy. Wait and see. All right, well, we'll wait and see. That'll be, the, that'll be the last thing that we open up. Right. And the conference For these, and upper deck conference greats are non-checklist rules applied. So that means, um, if we pull a player, I mean, they're going to be in their college gear, or they could be in their college helmet on this one. It'll go to, if they're a retired player, it'll go to the team they play for the longest using profootballreference.com. Or if they're an active player, it'll go to the team that they are currently on if they're in their college gear. All right, also, there's an early bird special. The first 18 full spots taken get a chance. But a few of those spots were gobbled up by the filler breaks. So now the earliest of birds, you still have, you have better odds now. Right there. So the first 15 now get a shot at that extra spot. So different dice roll right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Name on top after six. We'll get an extra spot. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Nick Stover. After six times, he has last spot mojo and he's an early bird. Catching the worm right there. So there you go, Nick Stover. Thanks. Now we can put the full set of 32 right here along with the 32 teams. There all teams are in. And we'll put the results of that in that first tab. And a dice roll for the names and teams. Different one. Seven times this time. Five and a two. Lucky seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Tice down to Michael. Down to Michael. There we go. All right. And seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Patriots all the way down to the Fly Eagles Fly after seven. All right, Tice, I know, right? Tice with the Patriots, Michael C. with the Vikings, JC with the Saints, Nick with the Lions, JC with the Bills, Tanner with the Seahawks, Kyle Cook with the Bears, Tim, you got my Raiders, Adam with the Bengals, nice, Scott with the Falcons, Jose with the Chiefs, Ryan H. with the Steelers, Chris D. with the Titans, Nick Stober, Last Bond Mojo, Arizona Football Cardinals, Michael with the Niners, James with the Jets, William with the Redskins, Mark with the Colts, Chris with the Browns, Richard Fox with the Jags, Chris Masters with the Ravens, Josh S. with the Panthers, Michael C. with the Buccaneers, Richard with the Packers, Joseph with the Chargers, George with the Dolphins, Oliver with the Cowboys, Nick Stover with your early bird spot, the New York Football Giants, Asa with the Broncos, uh, TJ with the Rams, Frank with the Texans, and Michael C. with the Philadelphia Fly Eagles Fly. Trade at your own risk, folks. Remember, there are different years in this and different big hit potential in that helmet. So think carefully. Remember, here's another look at the list of boxes and all the different years. So think about that before you make your trades. Remember the rookies in those rookie classes. Pats for Seahawks. Confirmed, okay. It's an interesting trade. All right. So, Tanner, you're now in the Patriots spot. And, Tice, you're now in the Seahawks spot. We'll put T, a little parentheses T next to there. So you know that you got those teams in a trade. And for those of you watching at home, you can see who ends up drawing first blood in that trade. Any other trades? Maybe Browns for anything, says Chris Erickson. Jets for Steelers, perhaps.
Maybe not. Should we roll? All right, TWC means trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. I'll honor Steelers for Texans if uh, that person wants to do it. Who has a Steelers? If Ryan H. wants to do it, I think he's in the chat. Ryan H. No, maybe not. Trade window closed again. I don't know what you're doing there. I was pressing the print you're button. Kind of you see the pr I, was, I was pressing the print button. Did you see that? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a touch air touch. Yeah, it's, it's just, you can do that now. All right, here is the official final, super official, super final list right here. Thanks, everyone. No worries, Frank. I thought he was in. The, I thought he was in the room. So, all right, maybe not. All right, what do we got? Conference grades. Yeah, maybe do conference grades. Get that out of the way. I'd love to donate this. What is that? It's a box top from a conference. Wow. Michael Sam. Why do I remember him? He was a Ram, wasn't he? Yeah, he was also. Uh, Oh, first out player yeah. that was drafted. Okay, I, I remember Michael Sam. All right, so that goes to the Rams. I think he was, he, he was only on the Rams, right? Yeah. No, he was also on the Cowboys. Uh, well, then who did that go to? I have no idea. Okay. I guess it would be, I don't know if he played any games, you know? So I guess it would be the team that drafted Right, Rams. All right, so all of these, well, veteran commons don't ship, but for any... I was also saying donation to the box hopper, not to give them Right. Box hoppers are awkward to ship. <laughs> They're not the shipping team's favorite thing. <laughs> They're like, does this have box hoppers? Like, oh, no. I can't get this hanger open. Oh, lost a box. Oh, I don't know how that opens either. I think it's on, I think from the bottom, maybe. Remember Tim Couch? There he is. And Odell Beckham Jr. Piece of his jersey. So remember, the college rules will apply here. So that'll go to the Cleveland Browns, Chris Erickson. All right, so Cleveland with that one. That was the uh, Tennessee schedule back in 2014. This is kind of a cool idea. So these are parallels, you can tell. You can see the copper right there as opposed to the base, which has the foil. No, it was Odell Beckham Jr., Browns. Auto? Jersey. I wish it was an auto. Jason did an Odell Beckham Jr. box cover auto. Out of this? Yeah. Recently? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Let me save a Joe Namath for you, James. There you go. How 
how many hits are in here? One relic? One thing? Two things? One auto or mem? One jumbo card per box? Get three autographs or memorabilia cards per box Four. on average. Three. So three hits. All right, so we're looking for two more somethings. <laughs> I thought it was too. Th those are just like the, the copper or bronze. There. Uh, there. No. I don't know. We're getting co close to the. Oh, I, okay. There. I, there it is. Uh, school Pride, Ole Miss. <laughs> Ole Miss. That goes to the Ole Miss spot. The ghost of the Ole Miss spot. Lane Kippen, head coach. So that goes to whoever Lane Kippen played for a long time. Raiders. Um, that'll obviously be randomized to one person to break at the end of the break. There. There. There it is. Michael Sam. We are just talking about He's the box topper, too. So, Rams. With that one. It was actually old St. Louis Rams, but now... Now Los Angeles Rams. A lot, lot has happened since 2014. All right, actually, I'm going to set these sleeve cards over here. What do you mean? Oh, maybe a little larger? Yeah, let's can accommodate that. There you go. There you go. So you can see all the action there. No funny business. 2013 Absolute. 2016 Lead Hanger. 2013, who can we find here? DeAndre Hopkins. Zach Ertz. Wow. Le'Veon Bell. Gavin Escobar to 199. We've got Stefan Taylor. Remember him? 24 out of 25. That'll be for the Cardinals. Nick Stover. That's 24 out of 25. Got Dwayne Bow to 99. And 65 out of 99. There's the Gavin Escobar hit. Jersey and autograph. All right, Manti Teo to 49. And there's EJ Manuel, Rookie Premier Materials. Uh, by the way, the Gavin Escobar goes to Oliver Smith and the Cowboys. And the EJ Manuel jersey and auto goes to JC and the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! And Theo Riddick. Isn't he still playing? To four ninety nine. Yeah, he's on. He's getting some. He's getting some plays, right? He's on the uh, card. Card. A red team. Uh, Nick Stober gets the Lions edition of. Kind of a red team. Playoff. Theo Riddick is a Las Vegas Raider. He's a Raider. Wow, I don't know when we grabbed Theo. Okay, there you go. Theo Riddick. He's going to be coming out of the back. He'll catch the pass. Speaking of, remember when the Raiders had Antonio Brown for a second? Stargazing Antonio Brown? Third Brown? and 15. Carr drops back and dumps it off to Theo Riddick. For oh, no. <laughs> Check down Derek Carr. No. I don't like that scenario at all, Nick. That was not my favorite scenario. It's my not my favorite play call.
And there's Fran Tarkington, Hall of Fame autograph. Nice. That goes to Michael and the Vikings. Uh, Joe Carmonis, you do not have the Rams. You have the Chargers. 22 out of 99, Jeff Simmons. Rookie wave, Drew Locke. Is this guy going to be something? He's got a lot of weapons now, Denver. That's going to go to Asa, Robert. Jared Goff, Eric Mann, Michael Thomas. Trace McSorley and Accolades Relic, Joey Bosa, 2016. Wait, was that out of five? Come on, Joe. Joe Carmonas with the Chargers, the Los Angeles Chargers. Oh, the Fran Tarkenton was out of five, right between his legs. Three out of five Fran Tarkenton, thanks to James Majority. I could have shorted Michael Castelli a train whistle. My apologies to Michael. Michael, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Man. Mike's probably thinking, no, oh, I'm not, I don't get a train whistle. I get shorted a train whistle. I think, he's a, I think he's a new guy, too. New guy probably came in being like, oh, I heard about the world famous Big Hit Express train whistle. Let me join some breaks. Thanks to James Majority for saving me from that kind of embarrassment. Ooh, rookie ticket autograph. Three out of 23, Hakeem Butler. Nice, that green foil in there for Nick Stover and the Cardinals. Aw, don't tell Nick Stover that. <laughs> no, I'm sure I'm sure Nick Stover follows sports. He, he gets it. He knows. He knows that's a possibility. Philip Rivers. I don't know. Raiders could pick him up. Third and 15. Carr drops back to pass. Dumps it off to Theo Riddick. Those are, I have nightmares about that. Kind of hits too close to home. Rookie Stallions, Tony Pollard, Dallas Cowboys. That will be for Oliver Smith. Oh, we're already done opening boxes? Oh, that was fast. I thought this break was a lot longer in my head. Um, what about some Elite? Are there two stacks of Elite? Are they different? Oh, so there's the hanger right here, the shorter stack. And here is the 2020. There's Gabriel Davis at 399. Buffalo! And we've got another charger. It's an autograph, Joe Carmonas. 56 out of 75, Keenan Allen. There you go. If you talk to our colleague Sean Jaspi, he'll tell you this is the number one receiver in all of football because he's a Chargers fan. I think he'd argue that. LaVisca Chenault, TJ Watt. I mean, he's pretty good, but still guys like Michael Thomas out there. Julio Jones is still out there catching passes. Stephon Diggs is still out there. There is Albert Okuebanum for my rivals, the Broncos. Uh, there's Darrington Evans. Sorry, I got the Lakers games right here distracting me a little bit. We'll save one of these Tom Brady's for uh, Michael and the Buccaneers. There you go, Coos.
Russell Wilson at 399. That's right, Indiana Jones. Sean also has Hunter Henry as a top three tight end. Pen Pals, on-card autograph. This is Ted Jaspie's pick for Rookie of the Year, which is, I think, an interesting pick. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. Oh, is he the is he the favorite? Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought Teddy had a hot take. No. Oh, so lukewarm take. <laughs> All right. So the favorite to win Rookie of the Year goes to Jose and the Kansas City Chiefs. What about Antonio Gibson? What if he wins the Rookie of the Year? Is that a hot take? Is that warmer? Because no, no Adrian Peterson anymore. Because he got released. That means more work for Antonio Gibson. Just this morning, Adrian Peterson released by Ron Rivera. Now we know who really has power on that team. It wasn't Jay Gruden. Swag. Lamar Jackson. He's got that swag. Ravens. Chris Masters with that one. So this is the old uh, 2016 Elite hanger box. Mitch Trubisky got named the starter? Wow. And there's Will Fuller for the Texans, turn of the century. Liam, you want to plug an eBay item that you have? No. <laughs> Why would you get to plug it and no one else? No, this is not a... Do, wait, did you get it from us? Did we pull it for you? If we pulled it for you, then yes. I don't think we did, though. Did we? Will Fuller for the Texans, Frank, with that one. No, we're not a, a message board. Free advertising. Press proof Austin Hooper, Quincy Anunwa, and Tyrod Taylor. Oh man, Sean Jaspi also thinks that Tyrod Taylor is like gonna start all 16 games for the Chargers this year. There must be some delicious, delicious Kool-Aid. The uh, the Chargers are handing out to their their what they have remaining of their fans. This guy is a starter. Is Matt Nagy trying to get fired, you think? Where did Leonard Fournette end up? Ooh, nice rated rookie Deshaun Watson. Texans, Frank. There you go. Frank didn't even want the Texans. Oh, Leonard Fournette went to Tampa? All right. That's a nice hit right there, Frank. All right, let's get into some certified right here. This is 2018 certified. Rock. Thomas, do 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 do. Rock Thomas, do 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 do. Do 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 do. That's out of nine ninety nine. Donnie Shell, Saquon Barkley to fifty. And, oh, I thought it was going to be an auto for a second. Marcus Allen, that would have been cool, out of 499. Raiders. 
And Ron Dane, mirror signatures. 28 out of 35. And that goes to the New York Football Giants. That's going to be for Nick Stover. That's his early bird spot. No, I think I think uh, James is right. Jaguars did release Leonard Fournette. I'm pretty sure he did end up with uh, Tampa Bay. There's DJ Moore. Nice. Two-color jersey and autograph. 128 out of 249. Tyrod Taylor plus one hundred plus fifteen thousand for MVP. We gotta put we gotta put like five dollars on it for Sean Jaspi. Panthers, that's gonna be for Josh S. Nice freshman fabric. Out of two twenty five. Isaiah Crowell. Crowell? Crowell. And we got the juice, OJ Howard. 89 out of 99. Wait, that's a good Indiana. That's uh that's a good good question here. What's a good long shot MVP pick? Drew Locke? Interesting. Usually quarterbacks, right? So I mean pretty much what quarterback? He's sixty to one. That's not, oh, that's what I got him at. Nick says okay, interesting. There's Sam Darnold at three ninety nine. Adam Coverman was also going to say Drew Lock, Nick. Oh yeah. Well, why why wouldn't you pick Kyler Murray? Oh, what was the? Wow, you and Adam are on the same page. Adam Kupperman just said, I had money on Mahomes and Lamar Jackson the past two seasons when they won. Wow. Are, are you Adam Kupperman? Hold on, wait a second. I've never seen Nick Jaspi and Adam in the same room. Adam Kupperman pretty much has been with us, shopping with us since what? The beginning, right, Nick? Six years? Uh-oh. I think Adam might be Nick Jaspi, revealed. <laughs> Revealed. There's Gronk, Patriots edition. All right, so... So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's New Generation. Marcus Hunt to 999. From Nick Jaspi and Adam Kupperman, they're thinking Drew Locke. Kyler Murray, too much of a favorite. There's Golden Tate, Seahawks. <laughs> my, my brain, Carmona, has been in basketball, baseball mode. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my fantasy football draft this weekend. There's Kerwin Williams for the Colts to 499. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Stidham would be a very long shot because I think they just named Cam Newton as, a, as the starter. In New England. They're going to let Jarrett sit and marinate a little bit. This goes to the Blue Horseshoes. Mark H. with the Colts. Won that spot in the score pack. Frank Gore, he's still playing. He's still doing it. Geno Smith. 24 out of 299. For the Jets. James with the Jets. Troy Aikman to 9.99. Stedman Bailey to 2.50. Oh, no worries, Frank. Yeah, that, that was a good Deshaun Watson, especially if that grades out, could grade out nicely. There's Terrence Will. Uh, yeah, Terrence Williams. Patch Auto Dolo nine out of 4.99. That is uh, for Oliver Smith and the Cowboys. Can't let Eric Gordon lit wide open.
Ooh, what are the Phillip Rivers odds? We've got some illusions here, ladies and gentlemen. Use your illusion one and two. It's 299. Steve Young. We've got Benny Snell Jr. Snell, yeah. James Connor and the bus. Jerome Bettis. 60 to 1 on Rivers. And Adam got Locke at 66 to 1. That trio goes to the Steelers. That's going to be for Ryan H. Matt Ryan to 399. Jimmy Garoppolo to 299. Obviously, all these will be sleeved and top loaded before they go out. Those numbered cards. We've got Instant Impact Relic. TJ Hawkinson. Hawk going to Nick Stober. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. It's a. It's another Harrison Ford line right there from Indiana Jones. <laughs> we named the dog Indiana. 53 has any five Nick Chubb. I had a lot of fond memories of that dog. <laughs> you were named after the dog? And a one of one Patrick Mahomes with Len Dawson in the background. Wow, that's really sweet. That's going to go to Jose Aragon. From one legend to a future legend right here. 2019 Illusions football. Wow. I mean, anything with Mahomes' name on it. My homies, going to Jose, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. I like that pattern. I don't even know what that's called. I've, I don't think this pattern is too common. That's pretty sweet. And a redemp. It's Hakeem Butler for Arizona, Nick Stober with the Cardinals. Wow. I was just, I was not expecting that out of this illusions box, that's for sure. I was just keeping my eye out for hits, relics or autos, and then bam. And we got Greedy Williams, 50 out of 199. Rookie signs going to Cleveland. That'll be for Chris Erickson. Talking MVPs, maybe Adam knows. Uh, when's the last time has anyone won the MVP two years in a row? When's the last time that happened? Like, could Lamar Jackson win a second year in a row? Or is that crazy talk? All right, I see red ink. I see Buffalo rookie endorsements. Red Ink Auto, eight out of fifty. Devin Singletary, pretty solid hit for JC and the Bills. Nice. All right, we got two more left right here. Plates and patches, and then Obsidian. I love that Obsidian. Farver, Peyton Manning, maybe. Okay. There's one plate per, per box right here. It's the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, Baker Mayfield. That'll go to Chris Erickson and the Browns. Chris, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. We got Saquon Barkley to 99. Behind Ozzie Newsom is... Rookie Reflections, Kyler Murray, 55 out of 99. I thought that was going to be some ink on that. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. So it was Peyton. Adam Copperman's confirming 2008 and 2009. So, so it's been a little bit. And look at that, Bernie Kozar, 25 out of 30. That goes to Chris Erickson and the Browns. And there's Ozzie Newsome right there, another Brown right there for Chris. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Come on, Lakers, what's going on here? 94-82 Houston, but nine minutes left, so kind of a lot of time. All right, there's Jacoby Myers to 75 for the Pats. That goes to Tanner. There was a tie? Favre also won back-to-back -back in 95-96 and tied with Steve McNair, I'm assuming, in 1997? Ties. Four out of 50, Darius Leonard. Blue horseshoes. Adrian Peterson to 125. Tied with Barry Sanders, maybe, Adam saying. But still a tie. Kind of weird. There's Nick Bosa. Volcanic material. <laughs> Two out of 75. And we've got Marcus Green for the Falcons. Rookie auto for Scott Claremont and the Dirty Birds. Thirty-five out of one hundred and fifty. We've got justice going to be served to the Ravens. Chris Masters with the Justice Hill. Twenty out of twenty-five, and the last thing here is Will Greer, jersey and autograph. Is he still with the Panthers? Back, backing up Bridgewater, I think. Right, jersey and autograph for Carolina. That's going to go to. Josh S. 101 out of 150. Won that in the uh, won that in a score pack. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The last thing is the helmet. Where's the helmet? There it is. So there it is, right here. Remember, we discussed at the beginning the college rules apply. The non-checklist rules apply. All right, let's see what we have here. Whoa. Oh no. No. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need your help, Nick. Oh gosh. Let me see. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. This is super cool, but oh my goodness. We have to look up all these players. There's 24 signatures on this helmet, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, hold on. All collegiate. Oh, is no. it Steiner? It's Steiner, yeah. Hold on. Let me look up the players. I think I'm going to be able to. You should be able to with the card, right? They should have all the names authenticated. Here's the knife. Oh, my God. Billy Sims. Now, I see Billy Sims on here. I saw Bo Jackson. Is that Danny Warple on here? Wow, 1981, 1991, 93... Bama 2015, is that... That's Mark Ingram, right? Or There's Barry Sanders, OKC. Okay, I think it's Heisman. All, they're all Heisman winners. They're all Heisman winners? That's amazing. Who's 95? From OSU. There's the Barry Sanders on the side right there. Oh, my God. 
Kajana Carter? No. Just FYI, there's a little bit of a, a smeared auto right on the front right there. I mean, who knows with all these players like holding on to this, they, who knows how many people touched this helmet while well, all these Heisman Trophy winners did. Wow, this is one of the coolest autograph helmets that I've ever seen. Is there a signer sticker on the helmet? You want to name that number off to me? I can't see it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Try 231 497 91. Try three three one four nine same thing, but three at the beginning. Four nine seven ninety one. Oh, come on, Steiner. Try eight oh, he's gone. Threes can also look like eight if Isn't on this card? No. Come on, Brandon Steiner. <laughs> I think it's SS. SS? Oh, are there letters? Try SS149791. Bingo Bango. No, that's... Oh, that that is. We only have one player named Desmond Howard. Okay, so I, I can name off every player, I think. <laughs> Hold on. Can you write them down, though? Yeah, sure. All right, so this one is Barry Sanders. We know Nick that. Nick is pretty good with autographs. Um, hold on, let me make another tab in the spreadsheet. No Pats player. So there. we don't even know all the players yet. We're a long way. From, then we yeah. got to look up every player, see who they play for longest. Oh man. So Viewer, we're in for a long. I don't know if you want to pause the video or do we want to? We should do it live. Maybe. We should do it live. Yeah. Okay, so Barry Sanders. <laughs> all right. We got Barry Sanders. I'm just going to start with the ones I know. Marcus Mariano. Well, then how do we... We have to check it off somehow, like, so we don't... I'll go back. Marcus Mariota. Well, the the years are there mostly. Yeah. Okay. Marcus Mariota. Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram. Tim Brown. Tim Brown, right? Notre Dame, 87. This is Eddie George. Eddie George in 95. This is Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, right? Auburn, 89. I think 89. this is Ron Dane, Nebraska running back right there, 99. I want to say. Or Wisconsin running back, I guess. Earl Campbell's in there. <clears throat> Billy Sims. Desmond Howard. Paul Horning. Ricky Williams. I think you're actually, yeah, these are, what about this? I don't know that I mean, one. They don't know that one. Someone look up 89. Marcus Allen. Houston. <laughs> OU03. We need 1989 Heisman Trophy. Wait, hold on. I can pull up a Heisman Trophy list. Yeah, but not all of them inscribed their uh, thing, but yeah. But a couple of guys did. Right? Okay, so, so first one, do OU03. Hold on, I'm on 1989 Houston Andre Ware. Two thousand three. Two thousand three is Jason White, Oklahoma. That's Jason White's autograph. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it says OU03. Uh, 1993, George something from FSU. I think Adam's helping us out. What was the year again? Sorry. 93. Charlie Ward. He's in there. That's right. He ended up playing basketball instead. I believe that's a 01 inscription right there. Player might be from Nebraska. Nebraska 01. Eric Crouch. That's right. He snuck in there. 83. N-E-L. 
83. Mike Rozier from Nebraska. Is it, is it supposed to be a B? N E, I think maybe Nebraska. N E University. All right, that's 18. 1980, George Rogers should be. Yeah, 1980, I have George Rogers. 1989, Andre Ware. We already got Andre Ware. Is that 89? Yep, 89, Houston, Andre Ware. Okay, 1972, George? 1972, Johnny Rogers? Is that Nebraska? On the, that looks like Johnny Rogers, right? This yeah. and 72? Yeah, that's got to be Johnny Rogers okay. then. Okay, we got 01, right? That's Crouch. Johnny Rogers. Now we this need one four is more. very tough right here. This top one. 90 something. 99? 99? 98? Who's the name for 99? Randy? 99 is Ron Dane. We already got Ron Dane. Okay, so, so it must Ron be. Dane. You already got. You already said Ricky Williams, 98, yeah. right? Rashawn Salam? Yeah, Col Colorado. Colorado. 94. Yeah, RIP. Wow. Okay. Because that's CU, right? Derrick Henry on the back. Is it Rashawn or Sean? Rashawn. With the N, yeah. Rashawn Salam. I miss Derrick Henry. He's back here. That's two A's in Salam. Got it. He's got to put respect on his name. Derrick Henry. We know his autograph. Two more. 1969. Uh, Oklahoma player. Did we get that already? No. I don't think we went all the way back to 69. Steve Owens from Oklahoma, got running it. back. So we need one more? Yeah, which one did you miss? Did we get Bama 09? That's Ingram. Oh, that's Ingram. Tim Brown. I think it's this one. OSU 74 and 75. He went back to back? Or he just went there that year? Oh, that's yeah. what uh, Adam was saying. Archie Griffin, the only guy to win back to back, 74 to 75. And that's it. Wow, I can't believe we found all that. <laughs> nice work. That was one of the most impressive things I've seen on this stream, ladies Yay. and gentlemen. Nick Jaspi just rocking through these autographs. Are you just leaving me to look up all these players now? <laughs> I'll get my laptop. Um, well, Barry Sanders. Here, let's flip. Now we can flip well, we screens. Know Barry Sanders. Yeah, Barry Sanders, Detroit. We know Mark Ingram's a Raven. We know Marcus Mariota is a Raider. College rules, so Las Vegas Raiders. Ingram is a Raven, Raiders. right? Raider. That's got to be Raiders. Yeah. That's got to be Titans. He's only, yeah, That's Bo Jackson, Raiders. Raiders. Ron Dane, let's maybe pass on. Yeah, okay, Ron Dane, pass. Ron Campbell's Titans. Titans. Billy Sims, I would guess, Lions. Right. Not Packers? sure. Packers? Not he sure. He played for a couple teams, Hornings right? Packers. Hornings, definitely a Packers. Ricky I don't know Williams, what. I would guess. Uh, I don't know what he, who he played Lions. for the longest. But Marcus Allen, we know. Raiders. Um, I don't think Charlie Ward ever played in the NFL, so that might be a TBD. Derrick Henry down there. <laughs> I think if it lands here, we random it again, right? Well, we, that's the first random, and then to see who what team represents that. Right. Okay. Crouch was a Brown, right? Yes, yeah, no, we just put Tim new. Ca I think that's Tim Couch. Oh, I'm thinking of Tim Couch. I guess we should do it in order. So Ron Dane. Let's see. All right. Yeah. Now. Ron Dane, four years New York Giants. All right. So Adam was right there. Desmond Howard. I think you're right at Packers. No. Is it that or Detroit Bears? Lions. He played with the Lions the longest? Yes, sir. Desmond Howard? Unless I'm looking at the wrong guy. Wow, he played that long for the Lions at the end of his career? Who Ricky, played? Huh. Ricky Williams' is Dolphins. That's wild. I had no idea. All right, Ricky Williams played, played with the Dolphins the longest. Andre Ware. Andre Ware is Detroit. Wow, Detroit's got a lot yeah. here. How have they been so bad? <laughs> with all these, they just draft all these Heisman, Heisman, guys and that, that Heisman don't players out. that don't pan out. Jason White, don't think he ever played in the National Football League. Let's see. No NFL. No NFL for him. Not a single game. Wow. So that's a randomizer. Eric Crouch, I, I think, is the same uh, helio here. Nothing in the NFL, huh? Oh no, he's got, he's got stuff. Type in his, uh, right, that's this one's obvious. 
Which one? Derrick Henry. Oh, yeah. Salam Bear is the longest? I guess I could look at some of these, too. Crouch is... Yeah, he played for Chicago for three seasons. Right. You look a bear crouch. Nothing, huh? So look him up on Wikipedia. It's like all over the place, kind of. Yeah, I guess we'll go Packers here just to assign him to. We're still recording, right? Yeah, okay. Just Mike Rozier's Houston. Is it Oilers? Yes, Oilers for what's in that call? So it'll turn into Tennessee. Yeah, and you put Earl Campbell, Tennessee, right? I put Earl Campbell as Tennessee, yes. Even though we know he's Oilers. George Rogers. Johnny Rogers is a Colt, I think, right? George Rogers is New Orleans. And Johnny Rogers, Chargers. Sorry. So Los Angeles Chargers. What'd you say for George Rogers? Detroit again for Steve Owens. All right, Saints the longest, three or four seasons. All right. And Detroit for Steve Owens. Yeah. And Archie Griffin. Yeah, James is saying Bengals, Cincinnati. All right. Ooh. All right. So while while this is happening, let me make sure that one that we had is Packers, because I don't think he ever played a game with them. Who? Eric. No. Eric Crouch. Well, his Wikipedia has him with two seasons at as, at Green Bay. Why? Off-season or practice squad Can member you look only. NFL stats? Does he have any NFL stats? No, no. So he just never played? He was he just a practice squad guy the entire time? I mean, he might have been on the roster for St. Louis, but... But yeah, he was on there the longest for Packers, I guess, two years. He was drafted by the Rams as a wide receiver, but wanted to play QB. And then he was better suited for playing wide out, but a hard tackle caused him to lose 150 cc's of blood drained from his leg. And he left the team before playing a game. Then he signed with KC, and then was allocated to the Hamburg Sea Devils, converted to safety in Europe. Then CFL... I don't know. I mean... Where, where, where's his Green Bay years? Why don't it doesn't even show it nothing. on Green Bay? Type in uh, Packers. But that's only like off season. The this must be off season practice squad. He was just on a, on getting paid by them. Yeah, they've just claimed him on waivers like for two different two different seasons. That's the NFL team he was associated with the longest. So. Yeah, it's two years instead of one. So. Yeah, so we'll go with Green Bay on Eric Crouch. So we got to do a few randomizers. We'll use the same dice roll. So what we're going to do first, we're going to have to put someone into the Jason White spot and then the Charlie Ward spot. Then we'll randomize that list again, and the team on top gets it. But we need the to, only two? That's the only two. We need to, so we need to put someone in there. So the team on top... Number one on the randomizer will get Jason White. Number two on the randomizer will be in the Charlie Ward position. So to make it easy, I'm just going to grab teams. So let's, and we're use the same dice roll for everything. So snake eyes. All right, that's easy. Thanks, Ram.org. One and two. So after two... The Dolphins and Patriots are in on the action. 
So Dolphins, in that number one spot right here, and the Patriots in that two spot right there. All right? And we'll do it one step at a time. So then another new list right here. Actually, let's do the uh, let's do that old miss tag first. Snake eyes, one and two. So it's Nick Stober, last spot mojo. You're gonna get that old miss relic that we pulled. And now, one more list right here. Let's go back to this list right here. Let's grab all the names here. Actually, we can, let's just delete that. All right, so those are all the teams. The team on top gets the helmet after two. Should be 24 on the list because if you look right here, Let me switch it back here. It says 24 signatures right here. So we got 24. So once again, Snake Eyes. Good luck, everybody. This is wild. One and two. Team on top is New England. So that is for Tanner. Wow. There you go, Tanner. And that was a trade, too. And he got in on the randomizer. So, Tanner, you're going to get this. And you can rewind the video again to see us go through each autograph, but there's Barry Sanders right there, for example, and 23 other Derek Henry back there, and 23 other Heisman Trophy winners. That is crazy. There you go. That that's amazing. Yeah, and he was just like, "Oh, no pats on this helmet." But hey, there it is. Is he is he still here? Or did he just leave? Or maybe he maybe he fell out of his chair. But there you go. That's going your way. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Should we? I guess might as well keep this video running and do a quick uh, recap as well. So here here's the recap. You may have left Prim saying, well, you never leave. Always play to the whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Always play to the whistle. That's what coach always says. And maybe not his coaches. Well, he'll just receive a helmet in the mail then. <laughs> he'll be like, what happened? It's like, well, she should have watched the video. There's Ron Dane right there, Heisman Trophy winner. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Keenan Allen. The out of five, Fran Tarkenton was pretty cool. And that one of one, Mahomes, Len Dawson. There you have it. And there you go. Well, the person who won the helmet, Chris Erickson, left the room. Or is just like running around the house screaming at this amazing pull, one or the other. All right, there you have it, folks. What a crazy break. That helmet was just marinating in there. Jaspie's 12 box football is upon us. It is indeed. Football mixer is in the books, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jaspiescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll do more with you next time. Bye-bye.